Uh, that's where we kept our shocks, our batteries, our trickle chargers, and it's, it's, it started in there. But that's not where it ended. Investigators told owner Bob Levine the fire likely smoldered for four hours before employees arrived at the shop last Friday. By that time, the fire destroyed the team's primary road course car and three backups. Levine saw the damage for the first time on Tuesday. As his crew rolled out the wrecked race cars, they also had to think about the weekend. Driver Michael McDowell hits the track on Friday at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the sprint showdown. Also during this caution period, look what happened to Mark Martin. He was running in 10th place, and it looks like he headed into the pits, Bob. Yeah. And then the pits were closed. Is that right, uh, Bill Weber? That's exactly right, Ned. And what happened is Mark realized his mistake too late. The pits were closed. He swung the car back to the right, hit the waller, water barrels that protect the end of the wall. Schrader radioed and sensed a piece of roll bar padding fell off and hit the ignition switch and killed the motor. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, he can re as strapped in as he is, he can reach that switch. Put, put that put that in your book of excuses. Oh yeah, big help today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Put that in put that in your book of excuses of why I didn't win. But the problem he has, he's lost the draft. He needs a caution flag to be able to catch back up. Kyle Busch is going to pit. He has got a vibration in the right front. He's going high on the track. Kyle Busch will come to pit road next time by in the nationwide race. It was only two laps to go, and he lost that one. And now he's into the wall over on turn two. Sure enough, we saw the right front tire just shred there and into the wall goes Kyle. Also, happens. the six of Colin Brown. They were one and two. Kyle loses the lead. Also, Colin Brown now gets into the wall. Michael, we knew that they couldn't do it. We no. knew they couldn't run that far. That leaves David Starr, the 24 truck, with the lead. And there, the hood has blown oh, up uh, Butch on Butch Miller's truck. Butch certainly having a rough weekend. This is a backup truck. He uh, crashed yesterday morning before qualifying and uh, had to use a provisional to start the race and his troubles continue as the hood is up and he's going to have to come in and either take it off or try to fasten it back down. Here's McCall up against the outside wall coming off the corner. It looks like possibly his Aston Lewis's teammate, Regan Smith, got into the back of him. Regan in the McDonald's 35 car. Eric Elmarola in that 43 into the wall earlier while leading, going back after the lead on Mark Martin. Oh, oh and out of round. Gathered up here. Spun off of two guys. Look like right front went down. Tell us about it. We stay under the green. And then things got interesting. Then the drama unfolded. Greg Bibble gets in the back for the 31 car down in turn one, Robbie Gordon. In the 31, Spins goes up and makes contact with the wall. Oh, Robbie Gordon's going to uh, do a little payback. Unfortunately, it takes out Jeremy Mayfield and Tony Stewart. Two of the 10 drivers in the chase for the next L Cup. Both lost considerable time behind the wall getting repairs. Mayfield back on track. Stewart not able to continue after he was unable to make the minimum speed. He's done for the day. Not sure of what exactly how this happened. You see Montoya there. Well, actually, it's not even part of it. It's just no, stacked up there with car. the 96. Yeah, but Menard, Sorensen, Sadler, and Waltrip. That's the uh, chain reaction there on pit road, and Elliot Sadler got the worst damage. Yeah, I just looked up and saw uh, this 19 car on fire, and then saw this 42 pull into the garage. I thought maybe he caused it, but he was no part of it at all. See Kurt. Now he's already the by the seven. That one inside. Track's clear. Track's clear. Now here comes the seven. Yep. Okay, now there's. Now he's watching seven. Goes by the seven, goes by the nine, and there the car's the yellow. Out. And now he's going to pass Harvick and Jeff Gordon. There's Har uh, Jeff, and there's Harvick. Yep. And the pace car comes up in front of Kurt Busch then and gathers him up and slows the field. So that's why Gordon and Harvick were waved by. And Bill Elliott was the first car a lap down. So that's so why he, he got, got the, the lucky, lucky dog. dog. And that shows it right there. Right. Well, I'll see if I can explain this one to you. When the 24 got the wave by, then came down to pit road, apparently the official monitoring their pit thought they were the lucky dog. So they came in and got tires, but the official said no fuel. <laughs> Well, that wasn't the situation. They were getting the way by, so they had to come back down pit road to get their fuel. So they're not the happiest guys on pit road either. <laughs> oh, boy.